Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Geek Dad Reports Crap or Craptastic. I'm Brian West, and that's Ryan Tomlinson. And today we have a uh, newer movie that we want to talk about. Oh, you, you want to talk about it? I'm not really that enthused, but you know, well, well, I'll I'll save it. Well, I'll tell people it. what we're gonna review tonight. <sighs> All right, so we're going to review the. I can't even say it. The okay. Accountant. The Accountant. That's what it is. <laughs> the Accountant with Ben Affleck. Um, with a very... I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know why this movie just bugged me. Okay, well, I, let's I not can't... bury the lead. Uh, so, yeah. anybody who's not familiar with this segment since we haven't done it in a while, basically me and Ryan take movies that aren't necessarily new releases. Maybe they're new to us. We just, for instance, in this case, me and Ryan just yeah. watched The Accountant. On HBO, it just got released. Um, but we take movies that are poorly received and are given a rotten rating on Rotten Tomatoes, or people generally talk about as a terrible movie. And me and Ryan give you our two cents, and we decide whether that movie really is just hot, steaming pile of crap, or if it is a craptastic gem, and the critics are just stupid and flat out wrong. So uh, yeah. this week, like Ryan said, we reviewed Ben Affleck's uh, The Accountant. came out in 2016. And Ryan, what would you say the movie was about? I would say it's about a guy with autism that is a murderer <laughs> and he kills a lot of people. Yes, I would say that this movie is basically about an autistic kid who was trained by his dad. Oh, well, real quick, I should mention full spoilers for this. If you <laughs> yeah. have not seen the account, spoilers. We were giving any spoilers, but on this show, hey, it's crap or craptastic. It's been out for yeah. A, but here's the year. thing: you can watch this movie and you can tell every single fucking plot point from a mile. Like you not shut even your mile, mouth. Like okay, let me finish the description away. of this movie. So basically, Ben Affleck is a autistic child whose father is like a special ops army guy. A, a psychic or a, a psychological warfare. He's like the guy that like, if he was in the 1940s, they'd be dropping the pamphlets over Germany. Yeah. You know, he was, well, he, he was one of those guys. He decided and, since his son is autistic, the best way to handle it isn't therapy. It's to turn him into a trained ninja assassin. <laughs> yeah. And, and make him sit in rooms with um, loud music and flashing lights and um yeah i didn't quite get that you know get over that shit I, I feel like i feel like this movie uh so anyway long story short he ends up having to fight another assassin who is the punisher in uh john barathol shane the punisher natural born killer and uh i don't know there's a bunch of people that need to be yeah. murdered for various reasons and, that's pretty much the plot I, of this movie and i knew who i knew who he was going to be yeah well from so the did very I. The second movie... they introduced him on the screen i'm like oh that's you know yeah that. we won't spoil that part for you guys so you can watch the yeah. end but i did too i kind of figured out who he's gonna be but i thought it was cool i thought it was an interesting little twist at the end you knew it was coming but i thought the performances were really well done and i thought ben affleck was very believable as a handicap assassin <laughs> yeah he just he has no emotion no and he, his face is actually i don't know his face is more like he's a guy who good. has <laughs> wow He's a guy who has very little emotion as he kills people. He, his his particular thing is that he has to finish things. Like if he starts, he has to finish. And he's super good with numbers. And he's an accountant by day. He does numbers and books. He does the books for like the mob and all these horrible people. But he has this weird set of ethics. And if you violate them, yeah. he basically I mean, turns you in. And he was nice for his neighbors. You know, he was like, you know, trying to help out his neighbors. Dude, you know, That was one of my favorite parts of the movie. He's got these neighbors who are like, hey, do you want to, like, shoot your gun? And he's like, yeah, sure. And so he goes out there. He's got this 50 cal. These other guys come to kill his neighbors. And he just casually, like, stalks and murders these bad guys with a 50 caliber rifle. He's basically yeah. like a mentally handicapped Batman who killed people <laughs> <laughs> in this movie. How can you not like this movie, Ryan? So, okay, if, if, real quick, uh, if you can't tell, me and Ryan are very split on this. I enjoyed this movie immensely. Ryan did not quite. So before we give our official rating I, at the end of this, I just want to throw that out texting, there. But... I was texting Brian halfway through, and I was like, God, is this movie fucking over yet? This, and I called. I think I said some pretty harsh words to you. Listen, I'm going to put um, this out on the limb. If John Wick had not come out yet, this would be John Wick, right? But because John Wick no. has now set the bar for insane, no. crazy assassins, 
this movie fell way short. But no, no, I mean, this, no, no, no. This movie Rock. deserves to be on crap or craptastic because even even if you do enjoy this movie, there's some shit that just is like what? Like when you find out at the end who's been helping him, you're just like, oh come on, like. Ben Affleck is running this, like, mental handicap assassin ring, right? And you're just like, what is... Like, I, I would have loved to be in the room when they pitched this movie to the studios because, yeah. yes, I want more of it. But, um, yeah, I was, hi, Charlie. I, I, I forgot to look it Sorry. up. I was going to see if, like, the writer was autistic or something or if he had a kid that was... Like, they were just trying to make, like, an inspirational movie for, like, a family member yeah, or something. Go! <laughs> Go talk to your mom what? about it. Sorry, one of my daughters came downstairs, and apparently, the older sister has a bloody nose. So, Go well, talk to your mom. Just fucking that is bleed all over the place. Anyway, what were you saying? Oh, I, I was saying. Um, uh, oh, I think like I don't know if like the writer was autistic, and he's like trying to like make like their brother feel included or something. I mean, it just felt like I feel like this was like what if we make, way too hard. What if we make an assassin but mentally handicapped, and everyone's like, and we'll get Ben Affleck, go with it, right? But I thought, yeah. uh, I thought, what's her name? And we'll uh, get that one hot chick from, um, you know, those Kendricks. movies. What's her name? <laughs> I'm gonna pull it up right now. Anna, Anna she, Kendricks. I thought she did a really good job. Yeah. Listen, I thought the acting in this movie was really well was was really well done. I thought the script had points where you're like. Eh, but I really enjoyed the movie. I think this Point. movie. All right, so let's let's get to it. Number one, uh, clearly, I was excited about this movie. I thought it has all the things that you're looking for in a craptastic movie. It's enjoyable. It's fun. Um, the plot at some po- points is just crazy. No, the but it plot has all the murder every rampage point. that you need every in a, point. an assassin movie. And even though they turned autistic handicapped people into mindless assassins. I'm going to give this a solid craptastic gem. Watch The Accountant. I think it's great. It's a ton of fun. And it's great. And it's getting a sequel, which is even better. We're going to have more mentally no. handicapped people no, this killing is, people this left is and right. It's going to be going great. to be not the sequel crap or craptastic because I am going to put my foot down on this movie with crap. And that it is not even worth God, an Andy, accountant to crap or craptastic rating. No, it, Ninja Assassin, I could, Ryan. I'm, I'm, I could see every motherfucking plot for it from a mile away. Right. I even called who the girl was on his, or who the the secret person was on his phone. See, you thought I too much of never, this movie. You should have just sat back and enjoyed this movie for what it was. No, it's, I am not going to rewatch this. I suffered through the whole goddamn thing. This movie is crap. I'm going to 100% say, do not waste your time on this movie. Even if Brian thinks it was a John Wick, if it, there was no John Wick, no. This movie was stupid. Alright, I would like, like to say that I'm not... It, John Wick is an infinitely better movie. Like, John Wick 1 and 2 yeah. are awesome. <laughs> yeah, you can't compare that. I will fight anyone who says John Wick is a bad movie. <laughs> The Count is not that level, but I, I liked it. Hey, whatever. I'm in the bag for Ben Affleck and, uh, and his autistic assassin. I'm in. Yeah. So I am out. This is, I am going to have to heartily disagree with you on this one. And right. it doesn't feel right, but it just, I have to go with, with my heart. All right. Well, there you have it. Split decision. You guys be the, the, the tiebreaker. Let us know in the comments below whether or not you feel that the accountant is crap or craptastic. Whether I'm right, of course I am, or Ryan's right. No, I am no right. All right. God damn it. All right, well, let us know, everybody. Until next time, thanks for joining us for another episode of Crap or Craptastic. Stay awesome. See you, everybody.